today is a very exciting day. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Uh, one that I'm so excited about because I'm actually going to pick up my new Audi TT this morning. If you watched the vlog that went up at the weekend, I test drove one. That was actually coming up about 10 days ago now because the vlog went up like almost a full week. Well, actually, yeah, the vlog went up a full week after I test drove it. So I've been sorting it out for the last 10 days. Turns out <laughs> there's quite a lot that goes into getting a car. You don't just get a car. Uh, and it took a lot of faffing around and sorting stuff and faffing around, but we've sorted it now. And hopefully, all being well, I'm about to go and pick it up and I'm gonna do a car tour in this video, but I thought I would also film the like picking it up process. I think you're quite excited too, aren't you? I am. Dad's coming with me, it's a Monday morning. You're definitely meant to be at work, aren't you? Well, you know, I don't do nine to five. Cool. Anyway, yeah, we're going to Audi Hall and I'm gonna pick it up. Before we get any further into this video, I am currently sat in the car that you've probably seen in the thumbnail, but I wanna say, if this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, which quite often it is, car tours and car related videos are always like my most popular, which I don't understand given my like usual content and my regular audience and demographic. But hi, my name is Molly, and it would mean the world if you could subscribe down below because so many of you watch without subscribing, I say it all the time, but this video is particularly special because I'm so excited about what you're about to see. Honestly, this is one of the most exciting days of my year so far and the best birthday present I could physically have bought myself if you didn't know i turned 21 a week today no like four days from when you're watching this so i've kind of treated myself a little a little bit and i'm very excited for you to see it so let's get on with the video as i said subscribe if you're not already and let's go and pick up my audi tt we are here we're at whole audi i'm so excited about this the chance of there being like literally the perfect car here in Hull was so slim. Like I was so, oh my God, there it is. I was so prepared to like have to go and collect it from somewhere else in the country because like, I just did not think there would be one in this area. And not only was it in this area, it was in Hull, which is perfect. I'm so excited, do 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 do, and I just can't hide it, do 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 do. There's nowhere to perch the camera. There is nowhere. To stand the camera. God damn it, don't they make these cars with the thought of vloggers? Right, well, there it is. So, I'm in the camera. <laughs> the camera? I'm in the car. This is literally the only place I can rest the camera. Um, I've just picked it up, I've just driven it home. We were at the Audi dealership for about 45 minutes, just like signing paperwork. I thought all TTs were fitted with um, the automatic sat nav as part of the virtual cockpit, but it turns out that they're not. So I was a bit confused about that. And we spoke to the guy and I think that's something that I want to like have added on and get set up separately because I do really like the thought of having the map on the virtual cockpit. You probably don't know what I'm talking about if you don't drive an Audi or like if you don't have a TT. I'm not even sure all Audis have a virtual cockpit. But I thought whilst it's not raining, we would do the car tour because I just think it's stunning. I love the color that I've got it in. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and not to toot my own horn, but I'm like pretty proud and excited that I've like bought this for myself for my 21st birthday. I think that that's like quite exciting and like probably literally the most exciting thing that has happened to me this year. So I'm gonna do a car tour now while it's not raining. So are you ready? We'll do the outside first and then we'll do the interior. I'm also gonna take my coat off because it's actually surprisingly warm. Not a great deal of maneuvering room. Driving at home, I was like a little bit stressed because obviously, as I said, when I test drove it, I've never driven an Audi before and I get a bit flustered when I don't know how to like do the clutch and stuff. And obviously because this car's different to my other car, I was a bit like, oh, I don't really know how to do it. Um, and every time I stopped, I was very worried I was gonna stall, but I didn't, haven't stalled it yet. Um, it's so nice to drive, it is so nice to drive. So let's show you the outside. Now here she is, tell me this is not a sexy little car. I've got it in, I think it's called charcoal grey. So it's not black, but it's not like silver either. Obviously that's what grey is. So yeah, this is what the front looks like. As you can see, it's really streamlined. Something I love about LED is their running lights are LED lights that are in the headlights. And I think that that is so beautiful. So yeah, it has this quite big grill at the front. I've hopefully have blurred out the number plate. I wanted to take the plates off to film this video, but they're stuck on with sticky pads and I can't take them off. You can still kind of make out the shape of the grill. It's quite big, got the badge, love that. And then yeah, if you look at the side of the car, obviously it's two doors. That is how all TTs are. You literally can't get another option because it is such a small car. And if you look inside it at the back, it does have four seats. Like you can seat four people in it, but I just don't think I ever will be able to because unless you're a child, and even if you are a child, I just don't know where you'd be putting your legs because they're, they're like quite far back, the seats that you drive with. Obviously it's like a sports coupe, like a roadster. It's not meant for passengers, which is why I've got it at this age. I spoke about it in 
the vlog but I think that now is a really good time to have a car like this where I can have a bit of fun with it because I don't have children I don't have anybody to be driving anywhere on the regular other than myself or if there is somebody else it's only ever one other person it's not like I drive the family around if we're going anywhere as a family I would still go in my dad's car now for anybody that is into wheels and tires this is what they look like I obviously don't really know too much about it other than that these are alloys obviously um currently they're not scratched let's see how long that lasts and the tires are <laughs> thick i'm the worst person if you're watching this and you're not a regular viewer of my channel but you're just into cars i'm so sorry that my descriptions aren't great this is what the back looks like and what the boot looks like so it has the tt logo here in silver which i really like um some of them the black editions the tt is written in black or chrome but on here it's silver something that i'm really impressed with actually is the size of the boot i'm going to open the boot for you so the boot is actually surprisingly really really big so i thought that the boot in this car would be quite small because obviously the front of the car is small like it is a small car that's the whole point however the boot is absolutely massive if you consider it the boot in my current car i drive a suzuki swift there are literally there, there is no boot space whereas in this i was watching a review online last night and it said you can actually fit a bicycle in this boot if you were to lay it down because as well as the boot being quite big you can drop down the two front seats and it's such a big space so like i think it'll be great you know if you're going to the airport if you're putting suitcases in the car there's a lot of room obviously for food shopping you've got more than enough space not that i would ever put a bicycle in the back of the car but you can fit a bike in the back of the car very impressed yeah i've got a parcel shelf and i've got a spare parcel shelf don't really know what this is doing currently but that'll obviously be taken out under here is some car looking stuff not too sure the ins and outs of this i guess if anything there's a bit more storage space honestly i am not the best person with cars like i can talk to you about its exterior and i can talk to you about the color and i can talk to you about how it drives and how it feels to be driving it but when it comes to technicalities i just not very good at it and then this is what the side of the car looks like this is my old car here so obviously it's a very different shaped car this is my swift i've driven this for two and a half years i love it really really good starter car it looks completely different it's so sexy so streamlined quite low down but not as low down as i thought so as you can see it's like i don't know still kind of high well not high off the ground but like there is space here it's not sitting on the floor it doesn't feel like you're sitting on the floor when you're in it either i was quite worried that i was going to get it and i was going to feel like i was so low to the ground compared to my swift because in my swift i sit quite high up and i was really worried that it would affect like my visibility of the road and i was like oh i don't know how i'm going to feel about it because obviously you know, that's something that could put you off is that somebody coming to deliver the post? Oh, my Urban Outfitters order. Nope, he's walked away. Waiting on a delivery from Urban Outfitters. Anyway, sit inside now and I'll talk you through that because I think that's probably the more impressive part. You've probably all seen the exterior of a TT before. Like all you have to have done is driven past one in the past. It has that like not new car smell because it isn't brand new. It's it's quite new but it's not brand new um, but it has it's obviously been valeted and it smells so nice in here at the moment so i'm like yeah i'm gonna keep it like this you know when you get a new car and you're like oh, i'm gonna keep it like really clean really tidy smelling really nice how long is that gonna last no this is such a nice car i want to keep it like that i want to keep stuff out of the inside because i think that as soon as you start cluttering it up that's when it looks messy my boyfriend is the worst for telling me off like i leave drinks cups in my current car all the time there's receipts in my car from like roughly when i bought the car i just have been rubbish at clearing it out but this i want to make a conscious effort to look after i'm going to turn it on it is a keyless engine so you don't have to put the key anywhere as long as it's in or like around the vehicle the car will turn on which means it is a stop start button so it's a button here rather than like you know turning the key but you do have to have your foot on the clutch so do that there we go and it is a manual i've gone for a manual just because i actually like manual cars like i don't i don't want to drive an automatic i don't really have any need to drive an automatic oh it's already syncing up to my phone bit of bluetooth i don't think we need that right now we'll pause that bad boy why is it only playing ed sheeran we'll have a bit of t-swift shall we see shall we see what it sounds like the sound system is so good let's skip it in Let me turn it up and you can really hear how good the sound system is. Don't think my neighbours will have appreciated that. But on the dash, I'm going to show you now. This is the virtual cockpit. So this is what I was talking about, basically. Audi has a virtual display. Um, and I think a lot of Audis come with it. TTs are always fitted with it. Or the more, more recent year TTs are fitted with it. Um, so as you can see, it sits between the steering wheel. So you don't have to like move your eyes off the road, really. So you're like not averting your gaze to, say, a screen that's here. Or a screen that you might have yourself, like a phone here. On the dash, it has a really nice display. So it has, obviously, it's playing 
saying the song, the artist, and the album that it's off, and then album covers. Um, if I knew how to use it properly, here we go, this is another display option. I'm still learning this, I'm very much getting used to it. So you can see it's really low on mileage, which I'm really happy about. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference because I don't drive loads of miles, but like I am pretty happy about that. The time, the temperature, the amount of time I've been driving it since I got it, which is already quite a long time. Um, and yeah, obviously at the moment I'm not moving, but that is my miles per hour, and that is my revs, so yeah and then i can go settings here oh this is this is one of my favorite features so i can go into my telephone call list and i can say i can either either verbally tell the car to call somebody and it does it or i can use the touch pad so at the side of me here on like the control deck is this here which you can also use as a wheel to like you know change options on the dash you can go through like radio stations songs whatever whatever or you can use it as a trackpad so say i want to call my boyfriend tom i draw a t on here and tom is already there yeah it already brings up my contacts my most frequent calls my most recent calls all from this touchpad so i think that that's sick it's the same kind of style as using like an ipad also on this control panel at the side of me i have the handbrake so it's a digital not a digital but like a virtual handbrake i don't have an actual handbrake that you pull up and put down you just have to have your foot on the brake so like obviously under here my foot's on the brake and i can take the parking off or put it on so it's quite Quite helpful in terms of like you know if you're on a hill you can just click it on and click it off it's not like you're manually putting on a handbrake and putting it turning it off again again here i can alter between my media so like playing from my phone which doesn't have to be connected through a usb it's bluetooth connected to the car um or i can flip it back to radio which is obviously really really cool this is the gear stick now as i already mentioned i have got it in manual because i wanted to drive a manual car it's just a preference to be honest i i have nothing against automatic like my boyfriend drives an automatic my dad drives an automatic um but right now i just didn't really want an automatic like yeah that's the bottom line of it but this is six gear which i actually didn't know i was driving it down the dual carriageway in fifth and my my little dash was like you need to change to sixth gear because that's another thing it does it tells me when i need to change gear which is great because sometimes you know if you're playing music and you can't hear the engine i forget to change gear i'm really not setting myself up to be the best driver am i anyway so it's got six gears and i was like oh my god it's got six gears but then that threw me off because in my current car that i drive where gear six would be is my reverse so i keep going to put put it in reverse and I'm putting it into sixth gear. Where my phone is currently resting, if I lock my phone, I can put it in this compartment, which is a really handy compartment for your phone and for your keys. And you can close it off again. So like it looks neat and tidy. Obviously, as I said, you don't need your phone to be connected through USB. It's just automatically connected by the Bluetooth. So it's just very neat. They've really thought about space inside. Like obviously it is a small space and they want to maximize the amount of stuff you can have in here without it being really like, you know, cramped or overcrowded or looking untidy. These are the three fan cons controls on the dashboard so obviously in a regular car this is where a screen would be or like a cd player um on this car this is for the fan on here the air conditioning praise the lord i now have air con i've never driven a car with air conditioning and i'm so glad about it and then obviously the direction that the fan is facing and all of them you can rotate like this so currently the air con is on slightly cold i can turn it up um or i could just turn it off this is the rear window heater the boot um my hazard lights i'm not too sure what that one is so here's a fun fact future molly coming to talk to you here when i said i didn't know what this button did this one here it actually pops out the spoiler on the back of the car i had absolutely no idea that this car had a spoiler i knew that you could get tts with spoilers but i really didn't know that mine came with a spoiler so yeah, this is now what the side of the car looks like it does have a spoiler the button pops it up from the inside i think it looks sick to be honest i know a lot of people don't like them makes it look a bit more boy racery a bit more sporty but yeah at the side of me here i have the controls for oh i've somehow made it really warm in here how have i done that at the side of me i have the controls for the wing mirrors they're electric as well so i just have this little button on the side of me where basically i can like alter the mirrors and the angles that they're pointing at which is really handy because my mum is also going to be on this insurance and she alters the mirrors obviously because she's smaller than i am so needs them in a different position um but it's so easy to move them back like you don't have to get out the car you don't have to lean out the window to adjust the wing mirror if i turn it on now I can move it just by pressing this I don't know if you can see it's like a little joystick so basically that's up down I think you can tell yeah you can because now it's pointing at the sky something I will say is that actually visibility out the back in this car isn't great because obviously it is like a sports car it is like a coupe the way that it slants at the back means that the visibility of the road behind you isn't amazing here is Harry come and get in Harry hasn't been in it yet this is Harry's first time oh. Hi. Hello. That's a long way down. It is a long way down, but it's not as long wow. down as I thought. 
So Harry has just got back from sixth form. This is his first sit in the car. For right. all of you that are new to my channel and haven't watched before, this is my brother. Wait, the seats are suede. Yeah, so the seats are half leather, half suede. I haven't even mentioned that. I'm trying to talk about everything inside. I think I've covered most things. What's the first thing that you notice when you're inside it? The big wheel. The big wheel. Yeah, oh my gosh, do you want to know something sick? So that's a touch pad. Do you want to hear the audio? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As I, I said, we're annoying the neighbours, so I'm gonna stop that. But yeah, do you wanna go for a little drive in it? Should we do a little test drive, a little little cheeky test drive? So if you did wanna see the back seats, these are the back seats. Now obviously I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think you're fitting anybody in there. I think personally in this car, the only person that's gonna be in the back is the dog. Uh, because you're not fitting a human in there. Harry wouldn't fit in there, would you? I would not fit in there, no god. No. Mum mum did sit in the back. I managed to get mum and dad in the car when mm. I got here, um, but it wasn't very comfortable. Even mum had her head against the roof, and my mum is only five foot, so I'm still quite a good way off the off the ceiling. So what do you think? Should I think do this, it's very ready? nice. Yep, yep, yep. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's Just quite nippy. Showing Harry how quickly it speeds up, so. I mean, it's not quite dad. It does 0 to 60 in 6.5? 9. 6.9. 6 so, yeah, this is Harry's first time in it. This is only my third time driving it. So, obviously, like I said, I am still getting used to the clutch. Also, it would really help if other drivers used indicators. That always is nice. Maybe I'll become one of those people now. Howdy drivers. Yep. Yeah. You're one to... of those. Should we play some music again? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're back from the little drive. How'd you find it? Very good. It's very, nice, isn't very it? Very smooth, very... Nimble is the word I think nimble. I'd use. Nippy. Uh, nippy. Nip, nip. It's a nippy whip. Yeah, I think it's fast, but it's not like ridiculously fast. It's not a sports car, but it not does... Not as fast as that. No, it's not as fast as... Oh, that's, that's yours. Gun. I thought you were talking about dad's. It's not as fast as dad's. Oh, I don't know how to turn the windscreen wipers off. Everything it's is new. Um, the windscreen wipers are on the side. It has cruise control, which is amazing for when I motorway drive. Harry's just playing with the little system here. If you guys do have any questions that I haven't answered, let me know down in the comments. It is a two litre, four cylinder front wheel drive, um, which it is powerful. It's way more powerful than the car I currently have. Harry's clicking all of the clicky buttons. I love the fuel displays here and the temperature displays because they're all LED. But yeah, all of the other controls are on the steering wheel. So as as I said it is very modern it is very nice and I'm just really happy with it to be honest like I think that although it's expensive it's worth it you get what you're paying for and it's a really good quality car like it's German it's a German car like, you don't you don't really get much better than that out of ten nine nine what would make it a ten if it had back seats yeah <laughs> the, lack it of, was more the lack of room I'm hoping we can still film like drive with me I think we should be able to yeah. Maybe able to. Because I, when I was buying it, I was thinking the dash was too sloped to be able to mount uh, the camera, but I think it might be okay. I don't know what I was going to say. I'm just a bit excited, really. Words aren't coming out. If you've got any questions, as I said, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, uh, I think I've covered everything. So I shall see you on my channel on Saturday with a weekly vlog from what I got up to this week. I had some birthday plans. Obviously, I've picked this car up, so I imagine you'll see this you car in the vlog. These. Yeah, it has different drive settings. I've definitely missed things that I'm speaking You're just about. just in auto. So if you were in dynamic when you were going fast, you'd have gone even faster just then. Really? Yeah, if you don't want to pay for much fuel, you can sit in efficient. Right. Efficiency. Comfort. Yeah. Auto, which auto kind of puts you in the mood that you're doing. So when we sped up. Yeah, yeah. Driving options within the dash itself is actually really cool. I haven't had a full play around with it yet. So obviously I can't talk you through absolutely everything because I have literally just picked the car up. So we're just still learning about it, but I do, I really like it. I think it's really cool. If you enjoyed the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, as I mentioned at the beginning. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen my face before, subscribe so you can see more drive with me's, more content filmed in the car. I do a lot of car themed videos, so like it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a good time. And I should be back on my channel on Saturday. Yeah. Bye guys.